So initially, I was going to do this entire video about fan fiction and defending it and talking about how it, you know, has its own value, how it doesn't mean that you can't be creative or original, anything like that. And it was great. I had a nice little outfit on so you got a little bit of entertainment for yourselves out there. But instead, I read some news concerning the publication of a previous Twilight fanfiction. And basically, I have snapped a little inside. I literally have in my brain. And so, that video is going to get scrapped. And let's talk about this new thing. Because I am not happy. But it's okay. Like Khalees said in Get Even, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> Isn't that the story? I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad. Okay, so here's my whole thing on this issue. I totally disagree when people say that fanfiction writing means you are not creative. Because that is not so. You can be creative and write fanfiction. And writing fanfiction does not inhibit your creativity. That is untrue, and I will defend that forever. I, I mean, I, I, I totally agree with that, 100%. But this shit right here, this shit right here, this shit right here, don't help nobody, okay? How de ass are you going to come up and tell people that you are going to publish a fan fiction of Twilight again? Fifty Shades of Grey was enough for you people, now you had to do it more, and it's just like, you know, self-publication is really gonna get the worst out of this because people are going to not take it seriously anymore because these kind of works keep getting translated from self-publishing to mainstream publishing and it's gonna fuck with the whole system because self-publishing does have its uses but to understand publication is an industry within itself they want to make money they want to pick a product that they know will appeal to the biggest mass amount of people and so, like the movie industry, what they're doing now and using self-publication for is finding works that are so similar to already successful mediums and are already doing well in self-publication so that they know that when they sign on this book, they will make a profit, that they will, they will invest in something that has a fandom of, uh, you know, support behind it. It's just like movie industries. The publication book industry is becoming like the movie industry because they're using self-publishing. And what they are doing is they are breaking the system for everybody else because it's useful if you were if you know you know that books these days you know if your characters don't meet a certain criteria or you don't have the story the way that they want to tell you or if you don't story the way they want you to tell it you will probably can't get published now with self-publication people who may have been limited because you know they had um gay characters or too many characters of color or a certain way they wanted to tell the story like with no happy ending blah blah, blah. now they have no limitations now with self-publishing they have an avenue with which to um, gain success from and, and do what they want to do and support their art without having to worry about answering to a higher power. It cuts at the middleman. You make profit based on what you get there. It is a really good system when it's used properly. But now, because of this bullshittery, people are going to look at self-publication think of it like, oh, you're just fucking around now. And it's not fair because I think that for those who take that avenue because they don't want to, you know, give up their integrity for it, it's a noble thing to do because I know plenty of people who, who are writers and they have struggled with the issue of wanting to write what they want and be creative but also knowing we have an audience, we have a certain place, we have a, we're in a certain genre, we have books to sell, this is a business, you know, I get that. But this is, I don't understand where it comes to where you have to publish your fan fiction. Like, and that's what it is though, it's not even like your original work or anything like, it's not like it was on fiction press and it was like your original story and you ended up tweaking it and making it better. Like that I could understand. I mean, I wouldn't personally do that with some of the stuff I published on fiction press. I wouldn't want to give it away for money. Like if it was part of an anthology, I would pro if, I, if it qualified, I might add on. But nothing that I actually have on there I think would qualify for publication at all. No, never. Um, but they're just doing this and I'm just like, I don't understand. Why do, why, would, why do you want to do that to yourself when you know that you're only getting signed on so that you become a cash cow for some other industry and that's all they want from you and you have no problem with this? Like, I don't understand it. And it's like, it's not even good. That's the big thing. I wouldn't 
even mind it as much if it was actually good work. But it's not. It's, it's you know, better than average Twilight fan fiction that people liked and now it's going to be published. And the thing about it too, it's like, it's so brilliant in its deviousness because it's just like, it, it changed the name so it's now copyright infringement. You know, the work's are already completed because, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, it came out, all three books came out right after the other. And it's like, the, the three books separately and the box set have been like on the top four for Barnes and Nobles for like, I don't know how long. Like, it has been making bank. This is working. The system is working, and that's why we have a problem now. Because now it, that it's working, people are going to start doing this. Because now they know how to make money. Now they know they can make a buck. Either through self-publishing, they can now do it. And now if it gets big enough and people enough people like support them, it can transcend that and get into publication. And now we have this. What the hell? I don't understand this. I, I would never look at my old fanfiction and think, oh my god, let me just retype this. Let me just brush it off. Change the names. Go into behindthename.com. Yeah, find a name. All right, that's Greek. That's Latin. It's African. Okay, names change. Change the place. There you go. Original work. Thanks. What? I don't. I don't get it. And I don't want to get it. It just it frustrates me because this is the shit that I always hear about. Like I, 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 I fanfiction has its place in fandom. It does. And it, it's great for practice, it's great for fun. I love it. I'll admit, now, I read it mostly for smut. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I likes to read my smut. And I need more, to be quite honest, because I've kind of read all the ones that are good within the ship that I ship. So, let me, let's, let's, I want more of it. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. I think it's fun. I know plenty of people who write it. I wrote it myself. And it's a fun, engaging thing to do. It, it helps you. It's a good exercise. And it's just fun. It's a fun outlet. It doesn't help. It doesn't stop you from being creative in other mediums. It's just another way to be creative. But this is going to end a stigma. This is going to begin a stigma for all those things. For self-publishing, for fan fiction that was already there before, but now it's getting worse. And now people are going to be like, oh yeah, now everyone can publish a fan fiction. No, you can't. You can't. I just, you can't do that. Why would you want to do that? It's not even like they're basing it because you're good on your own. It's like, no, you fit this mold that we've already established that other people have done, and now you can help us make more money. It's not even about you as a writer. It's about them making money. And once you've done that, what makes you think you can, that, that you can play the game anymore? They, you're, you're, you're exposable at that point. And it just, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't get this shit. I don't. I, I just don't understand why this is happening. But you know what? At the same time, I do. Because they put all their money, sometimes, these industries, into these really shitty young adult books that don't make any money because they're not good. Because as soon as, just, as, soon as dystopian trend came out, 50 billion dystopian books. As soon as Fade became popular, 57 million Fade books. Angels. You know, every goddamn thing has to be a trend. And they want everything to fit into that specific area. And and when so anything that they think, oh, this worked, so now we're gonna put all money into this one, then this one doesn't work. They're like, what happened? What happened? I thought we had a good thing. No. Just because it worked for one thing and you got lucky does not mean it's gonna work for every single thing. You have to take risks. But then it's not because these decisions aren't risks. They are based on an already successful model. And they're not going to break from that model as long as it keeps making the money. Why do you think all these stories have love triangles? Do you think every single writer wants to write a love triangle? No. But they know that shit will make money. How are you supposed to have a love triangle? But because of pressure, it was added so it could get more money and they could sell those team shirts. Because that makes money. It's not just about what you write. It's about how can we market this? How can we get people invested in this? It's not just about the work anymore. It's not just about the integrity of, of just wanting to do writing because you love it. It's a business. And you have to get in that business if you want to be successful. And it's sad because I have read some self-published books that I've gotten through Barnes & Nobles that I enjoy. Um, one called The Dark Wife. I love it. It was a great story. I was so happy to read it. It was like a lesbian take on the... Hades Persephone story and I loved it. It was a really good story and I enjoyed it and I was so glad I spent the money that I spent to get it. 
that were me and people want me to change the ethnicity of my character sexuality of my characters i'd be like no i can't and if i couldn't get it to be published in a regular place i would do self-publishing but this ruins it for everyone because we should be able to, to this is why people you know have self-published comic stuff because they want to do their own thing now when people skirt on it and take the easy way out by just trying to like take their fan fiction you know you know um search and find every word and replace it with something else it ruins it for everyone because now everyone's gonna get the shit for it everyone's gonna get the shit and it's just gonna be a hot mess and it's like back in the day when people like when people used to make up stories based on other stories like they try to be creative to make it better than it was before to try and improve it in ways that challenge the mind i mean fucking paradise lost is not even is it, like it's almost like bible fan fiction and yet it's brilliant and it changed the way that we view the religious like religious christian mythology it changed everything these people don't want to do anything they just want to they want to make a dollar and it's like and it's, the thing too is just like this well Fifty Shades of Grey which I know people want me to review it I'm not reviewing Fifty Shades of Grey I can't there's nothing to say it's crap I don't like it I think it's a waste of time I think there's much better porn out there that if you want to read there's there's Sisters of Erotica read the read the Anne Rice trilogy if you want to there, or read some smutty fan fiction or some Ray E on the archives of our own there are other ways to get your rocks off that are better than Fifty Shades of Grey which is not even sexy I mean that stuff is not good like oh my god that is some repressed. I, I can't even. It's too vanilla for me anyway. But it's just, it's a waste of time. And it's like, I, I don't even, like, I, I can't even blame the authors for it. Because when it comes down to it, it's not their fault in the end of the day. I mean, they may write these things, but people are paying them money to repackage because they know it makes an easy dollar for them. That's what it's all about. They were going to give her all, they gave her a seven figure deal because they knew they could get that shit back. That's it. And you know what happened? All those people went out, all those people went out and bought it, and so it's like continue. So as long as people keep buying it, they're the reason it's going to keep going because there's a demand for it. There's a demand for the great. There's a demand for all these Twilight knockoffs, all these Hunger Games ripoffs, you know? All these, you know, we're a dystopian society and we can't get married because we love each other and love is outlawed and that can't exist. Like, okay, come on, we are the giver. Step your game up, okay? Step it up. Step it up. Anyway, that was weird. But, you know, it's just... I'm frustrated. Like, what? Sometimes I think of myself, like, I'm, I'm, I study English and history. I'm so unemployable right now, it's, it's insane. Like, I read all the stuff about literature, you know, I know I can't spell that well, and my grammar could use some work, but I am creative, I can write essays, I can proofread when it, when it really counts, and, and write decent things, I'm gonna go on to get my MA in English because I wanna be the best that I can be so that when I finally put out something with my name on it, it'll mean something. Even if you hate it, you can't say that I half-assed it. But it's like, and then people half-assed, it's kinda like, what is the fucking point? But you know what? It's not about them, it's about me, and other writers, if you know what you want to do, and you want to do the best you can do, just keep on doing it. I know plenty of people who, you know, have to make sacrifices and stuff, but they still try to put up the best work they can do. And even if you have to feed into a medium or feed into a certain mold to make money, make it good. Like, make it good. Like, even if it's not deep. I don't even need deep. I'm about to do a review of, these, of the trilogy of books that were not, they were not deep books, it's like they had some, like, dark message, but they were fun, they were well written, they were entertaining, and I love them, okay? Write books that people can enjoy, you know, not everything has to be this deep message about, you know, feminism, and, and uh, not everything has to be this deep, deep message, like, with I'm like, if you had tried a little bit less to be like The Handmaiden's Tale and just be a, a fucking story, then maybe people wouldn't think that you were kind of crappy, because that's what the thing is, it's like, you're trying so hard to be like, yeah, we're new and fresh, but you're not. You're not doing anything new and fresh. You're not even doing anything that's that's entertaining enough with characters that are compelling enough for me to care about. Every single fucking book right now is the same fucking protagonist. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of these skinny, perfect skinned, straight haired chicks. Stop it. What is this life? Who are you people? What high school do you go to? Stop. Stop having the love triangle between the pale guy and the dark tanned guy. I'm tired of it. 
I'm tired of all this shit. I'm tired about everything being about your love life and, and your issues. And I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> anyway, sorry about that. I just had to get it off my chest. <laughs>